Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now today we've got something really exciting for all you Linux lovers out there. Ubuntu 25.04 code name Plucky Puffin is officially out. And in this video, we're going to dive into what's new, what's improved and why you might want to upgrade. So let's get into it. Okay, first up, under the hood, Ubuntu 25.04 ships with the Linux 6.14 kernel series. That means top-notch hardware support from the latest CPUs to Wi-Fi adapters and beyond. And on the desktop side, GNOME 48 is front and center, complete with dynamic triple buffering. Now, if you're on a low-end system, triple buffering can give you a noticeable performance boost, especially in animations and screen redraws. Next, big news for ARM fans. There's an official generic ARM64 desktop ISO. This is perfect if you're running virtual machines, ACPI plus EFI platforms, or those cool Snapdragon-based windows on ARM devices. And speaking of Snapdragon, the initial hardware enablement for the Snapdragon X Elite platform is baked right into the desktop ISO now. So if you grabbed one of those CPUs, Ubuntu is ready to roll out of the box. Installer updates, you might not think they're glamorous, but these are really handy. Plucky Puffin's desktop installer now supports local file paths for auto-install imports. So automating installs just got easier. There's also a new option to replace an existing Ubuntu installation, handy if you're doing a fresh start. And if you dual boot with Windows, you'll appreciate improved handling of BitLocker protected partitions. You can now safely install Ubuntu alongside your encrypted Windows setup without breaking a sweat. Networking fans, listen up. NetPlan in 25.04 now supports WPA PSK SHA 256 Wi-Fi connections, which bumps up your wireless security. Plus, you can configure routing policy in the Network Manager backend. And there's a cool new feature in System Denetworked Wait Online. Ubuntu will now wait until your DNS servers are configured and reachable before marking an interface online. Moving on, small tweaks for daily use. The XDG terminal exec package is now installed by default. So hitting Control plus Alt plus T always drops you into your default terminal. Papers replaces Evans as the default document viewer, giving you a snappier PDF experience. And hey, new installations now enable BeaconDB powered geolocation services out of the box. Handy if you use weather apps or location based shortcuts. Security wise, AppArmor profiles have been beefed up with new profiles for tons of applications. More sandboxing, less worry. For media, Ubuntu 25.04 adds JPEG XL support by default. So you can work with that next-gen image format without extra installs. And for NVIDIA users, Dynamic Boost is enabled by default on supported laptops. So your GPU can kick into high gear when you need it. Gamers and creators, check this out. Full support for Intel Core Ultra X2 integrated Arc graphics, plus Arc B5, 80, and B570 Battlemage discrete GPUs. Improved GPU and CPU ray tracing performance with Intel Embry and Hardware accelerated encoding for AVC, JPEG, HEVC, and AV1 on Battlemage devices. There are also optimizations in the Intel compute runtime and new debugging support for Intel XE GPUs. Pretty sweet if you're into 3D rendering or content creation. Under the hood, the tool chain is up to date. Everything you need to build or run modern applications straight out of the box. Ubuntu 25.04 is available in all your favorite flavors. Desktop, server, Edubuntu, Kubuntu, Ubuntu, Lubuntu, Studio, Unity, Cinnamon, Budgie, Kylin, and Mate. Just head over to ubuntu.com and grab the ISO. One thing to note, it's a short-lived release supported for nine months until January 2026. If you need long-term stability, Stick with Ubuntu 24.04 LTS Noble Numbat, which is supported until at least 2029. All right, that's the lowdown on Ubuntu 25.04 Plucky Puffin. If you're running Ubuntu already, give it a whirl in a VM or on a spare machine. And if you have questions or run into issues, drop a comment below. I'll do my best to help. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.